Hello friends. The United States has more than 63,000 pig farms, large and small. Each farming model is different according to the number of pigs raised on the farm. Today you will visit some large pig farms in the United States to see how they grow before being sent to meat processing plants. In 2023, a total of 72.9 million pigs will be raised, and farms will increase by 2% compared to the previous year. Some pig farms are often concentrated in states such as Iowa, Minnesota, and North Carolina. In recent years, the country with the highest pig population has been China, with 449 million pigs. Ranked second is the European Union, with 142 million pigs, and the United States is the third ranked country in the world. Most common pig breeds are Yorkshire, Duro, Chester, White, and Berkshire. The Yorkshire pig breed is the most commonly recorded in North America. They are found in most states, with the largest populations in Illinois and Indiana. Currently, Iowa is the state with the largest number of pigs in the country, with about 23.4 million pigs distributed on 5,400 farms. Minnesota has the second largest pig herd, with 8.9 million animals. This is the process of inseminating pigs on a farm in Iowa. The insemination time for each pig will last from 15 to 20 minutes. Five million piglets are born in the United States each year, about 1.5% of which will die shortly after birth. Reducing pre-weaning mortality is a top priority for all swine farms in the United States. On this farm, they will be fed exclusively breast milk for a long time, months, before being fed other foods. They will also receive regular vaccinations to help strengthen their immune systems. When the piglets are three months old, they will be separated from their mothers and fed foods with more nutrients. When they reach a weight of 40 to 50 pounds, farmers will accelerate the fattening process to sell them to the market. Normally, when pigs reach the age of six to eight months old, they have enough weight and standards to be taken to processing factories. Female pigs weighing 250 pounds usually give birth about twice a year and can give birth to up to 15 piglets each time. There are farms that would be smarter to maintain capital and make money on the farm by selling breeds to other pig farms. A 
According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, each year 97 million tons of corn and 38 million tons of soybeans are used to feed about 72.6 million pigs. Pig farming is concentrated in grain-fed states, and this practice is gradually disappearing. In 2020, North Carolina and Oklahoma rounded out the top 10 meat-producing states, but they are not major feed-producing regions. So the number of animals raised on organic food is decreasing. Almost all farms are switching to feeding nutritious grains. They divide the area to easily care for and manage the pigs. The livestock barn uses more spacious spaces for pigs and machines to monitor pigs 24-7. to ensure pigs in the barn are safe and to detect early when pigs are sick or show unusual signs. Each sow containment room will be 8 to 16 feet in area. However, this depends on the breed and size, so consider making sure they have enough space Every week farmers will put dry straw in the barn to reduce moisture from pig manure and urine. It not only helps the pigs stay dry but also helps keep the pig's body temperature warm in cold weather. Wastewater from a pig farm with more than 4,000 pigs in eastern Nebraska is treated under a modern system. The treated wastewater, in addition to being used to irrigate corn and soybeans on the farm, is also put into a septic tank to create gas. Such free-range pig farming models do not appear often in the United States. This is a site for pigs with a population of several hundred animals. They are allowed to freely forage in the fields. They are one of the most sought-after types of pork, as their meat quality is better than that of pigs raised on closed farms. Currently, there are approximately 28,075 slaughterhouses in the United States, with an average of 1,100 pigs slaughtered every hour across the United States. Upon arrival at the processing plant, the pigs will be degassed with carbon dioxide before moving on to the next stage. Basically, a pork processing plant can be divided into three areas, slaughter, cutting, and packaging. After being packaged, pork parts can be directly transported to stores and supermarkets so that consumers can use the freshest cuts of meat. According to 2022 statistics, pork production in the United States is 27.3 million pounds and contributes up to 57 billion USD to the country's GDP.
What do you think about a modern pig farm with high-tech supporting machinery? Right now, you will see high-tech models applied to livestock farming. Pig farming is a very popular livestock activity all over the world. According to statistics of the United Nations Occupational and Rural Development Organization FAO, global pork production reached about 118 million tons in 2018. In addition, the number of pigs raised for meat production on globally, it was about 960 million heads in 2018, with China being the world's largest pork producer followed by the European Union and the United States. Pigs are raised in a hygienic and safe barn environment to ensure a healthy living environment for pigs and reduce the risk of diseases. A healthy growing environment will contribute to increasing the amount of pork production that the farm can supply annually to the market. When souls reach the stage of calving, they will be moved to another breeding area to ensure reproductive safety for souls and piglets. The farrowing area is designed separately with conditions to ensure safety and hygiene for the mother and the piglets during farrowing and rearing. It is very important to keep piglets with souls in the early stages to ensure healthy growth and strengthen the resistance of piglets. In the early stages, piglets need to be provided with breast meat to ensure their digestive and immune system develop well. Being with the mother pig also helps the piglet learn and develop natural behaviors, helping them better adapt to their environment and increasing their survival. In each stage of development, pigs will be housed in different housing areas to ensure that they are suitable for their growth. After about six to eight weeks, when the piglets have reached enough to eat and grow enough to confidently eat bran and water without depending on breast milk anymore, they are separated from the mother to begin the self-development phase. This farm uses a technological pig feeding system. This equipment is capable of mixing pig bran and water in a precise ratio to provide essential nutrients for the pig herd. This device also allows the farm owner to connect to a computer for remote monitoring. When the bran treatment is finished, they will be transferred to the pig through according to the pre-installed pipes. The amount of bran for pigs to eat daily will be calculated to suit the growth and development of pigs in each age. Cleaning the pig's tea should be done periodically to ensure the safety of the pig's health and protect the surrounding environment. This is an automatic pig house cleaning system. There is no need to spend a lot of labor. This device can perform the cleaning process quickly and hygienically. The water system of this device is designed with a large water jet force that can clean up the dirt around the barn. The method of cleaning, disinfecting and treating waste in the pig state have the effect of ensuring good living conditions for pigs and for good production efficiency. According to statistics of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, the world had about 
987 million pigs in 2020, in which the countries that provide the most pork production today are China and the EU, USA, Brazil, and Vietnam. In 2020, China produced more than 50 million tons of pork, accounting for nearly 46% of global production.